Chosen Vessels, what's the deal? It's your main man, Drew Two, and I'm back at you again with another video. I need each and every vessel to hit that like button, hit that share button, and don't forget to subscribe. Shout out to the Galactic Family, the GCVs, and of course, Drew Nation. Let's get right into it. Second place is not your style. You've been holding down the number one spot, and they see it. They just don't want you there. Second place is not your style. You've been holding down the number one spot, and they don't want you there. Keep holding it down, though, because you have to fight. You're fighting for as long as you can, as long as God permits you to stay there, and as long as your health permits you to stay there. Because even if you leave and go to somewhere else, even if you move and go to another different location, there's still going to be enemies. There's still going to be wars to fight, battles to win. There's still going to be opposition. So you have to make sure that you stay in the number one spot. And that number one spot is making sure you don't have to depend on anyone. Making sure you don't have to rely on anyone for anything. And also making sure that you're able to do what you need to do to the best of your ability. By yourself, for yourself. Not allowing anybody access to your resources. People will try to knock you out the number one spot in a number of ways. People might just see you're in the number one spot in your own life. Maybe they want to take your focus off of you and put it on them, and they don't mind seeing your life deteriorate because of that. Who knows? But you have to continue to stay in the number one spot. They may not like you there, but you're going to be there regardless of whether of them wanting you there or not. All right, so there are some people that don't want to see you in the position that you're in. Maybe you've worked yourself up to become something. Maybe you're working yourself up to become something. But there are those who will already be ahead, who already have more than you, who will want your spot. Whether they're intimidated because you were able to do something that they themselves couldn't, no matter how bad they wanted to see themselves doing it, it just didn't work out for them. And there were small hints that you did not pick up on. There were small hints. This person kept hinting at the fact that what you do was something they might not have been supposed to do, might not have been meant to do. So this person was low-key throwing shade. So what people who want your position will do is they will low-key throw shade. They will low-key hint to the fact that you're able to do something they wanted to do. And whenever you find someone repeatedly saying that maybe they weren't supposed to do something, or whenever you find someone repeatedly saying why something didn't work out for them, and it's something that you do, something that you're good at, possibly even great at, you may want to avoid that person and stay away from them because they're upset. They see you've got <laughs> the number one spot. So it, it is what it is. People are just going to be upset. You're able to do a lot of things that other people can't do. You take your skill, your intelligence, your level of intelligence, level of ability. You take all these things for granted. Not to say you take them for granted, but it goes over your head how many people don't have access to the intelligence you have, to the skills you have, to the abilities you have, and just the sheer genius. They may not want to give you credit, but you actually are smarter than they would like to admit. And when they get around you, when they know you, when they start to learn you and figure you out, they try to peg you as being nothing special because they need to, I guess, 
come to a level of acceptance in their mind. So how they do it is they just accept the fact that, or they lie to themselves and they just, they tell themselves there's nothing special about you. If it wasn't anything special about you, why would they be coming after your spot? If it wasn't anything special about you, why would they be trying to take the place or take the position that you're currently holding for yourself or giving to yourself? You got to ask yourself, why is that? Because second place is not your style and you're holding down the number one spot. They don't want to see you there. They don't want to see you hold down the number one spot, whatever that is for you, however that is for you. You have accomplished a number one spot for yourself. I don't care. I don't care what that is for you. I don't care if it's something remedial. I don't care if to others it might appear mediocre. I don't care if it seems like to others you may not have enough or may not be doing enough. Things change. Nothing stays the same. You are a prayer warrior. You have an optimistic mindset, a positive mindset, a business-like mindset, an entrepreneurial spirit. There's nothing that can't work out for someone like you. All you need is the right atmosphere. All you need is the right level of positivity. And all, all you need is a space and place for you of some solitude for you to get your mind together, get your mind right, get your thoughts right without a whole bunch of this in your ear. And people know that because if you've noticed the people who are trying to take you out the number one spot, they don't like you thinking. They don't like you spending time to yourself, by yourself, working on yourself. They don't like you around those books. They don't like you self-improving. And the minute you go to do so, it's going to be a full-blown competition, them versus you, when the only person you're really versing truly is your authentic self. And they have a huge problem with that because they don't want to see you there. They don't want to see you being authentic. They don't want to see you being real. And they don't want to see you feeling good. They don't want to see you accomplishing goals. They don't want to see you reading. They don't want to see you writing, noting things down, listening to positive videos. They don't want to see you feeding your spirit and feeding your mind. They don't know how to. They don't know what they want to do. And they're focused on the wrong things. They're focused on things that don't get anyone anywhere. And you're busy being focused on things that are going to take you everywhere. And because you're building a life for yourself that's going to allow you to go anywhere, do anything, see anyone, they don't like that. And they don't want you to be there either. They don't want you to have that spot. They want you to be second place. They want you to put all that time, energy, and effort into them. And they don't even do anything with it. They don't know what to do with it. But they see you know what to do. They see you know what to do with your time, your energy, and everything that you have going on for yourself. But they don't want to see it take place. They don't want you there in that mental space. They don't want you there in that mental space to where you're figuring things out working things out for you. Some people just want you to do what they want you to do and they want you under their control so they could do their bidding on your life and make you do what they want. But that's not going to happen, is it? Heavens no. Get the heaven away from those people because they don't want you there. They don't want you in a number one position. They don't want you in a number one spot. You require a certain amount of peace. You require a certain amount of space. You require a certain amount of quiet to get things done. Those haters that don't want you to be in that number one spot. Are going to try and destroy you. Those haters that don't want you in that number one spot are going to try and destroy what you have going on. What they're going to do first is 
they're going to attack you with things that they have planned for you and try to sabotage what you have planned for you. Your goals, your plans, your routine, none of that's going to matter to them because they want that number one spot. All right? Second place is not your style, but this person is trying to place you in a second place position and it's just not going to work. There's nothing that's going to allow this to, to, to take place. All right. It, it, it's not going to work. It's not going to take place because your spirit is just not going to allow it. You have a purpose and you know why you're here and you know what you're supposed to be doing specifically with your life. You know what your life entails. You know all the details. But this person is not going to want to see you complete any goals, any missions. All right. They're not going to want to see you get ahead. Anything that you can do to work on yourself, whether it's do extra work to get a promotion, whether it's stay after and do the stuff nobody else wants to do. You'll find people doing things that they've never done to compete with you, to try and throw you off and get your focus put on them and how much they're doing. This person is going to want to distract you and get you to pay attention to all the things they're doing. They're going to want you to pour all of your energy into them instead of pouring it into yourself because they know that you're powerful and they know that if you're going to, to have that time and energy for yourself, you can do something with it. But what they want to do is they want you to, to fuel them for their success instead of you fueling yourself for your own success. And not only are you fueling yourself, you're fueling yourself. And this is something that they can't stand. This is something that they hate. This is something that they don't like. They don't like you to feel yourself or feel good about yourself unless you're making them feel that way. They need to make themselves feel good. They need to, to, to work on that area of their own life because that's not why you're there. You're there to increase you. You're there to perfect your skills. You're there to hone your craft. You're there to put knowledge into your own mind for your life, for yourself. That's why you're alive. That's why you have a purpose to better your life, to better yourself, to, to use your skills for yourself, to use your time for yourself. And people may consider that selfish, and I'm sure it is. But if somebody's not pouring enough time and energy into themselves and they require it from you, that's an energy vampire. If somebody sees you putting a lot of time and energy into yourself and they don't want that to happen, that person is a user and a hater. All right. People, people will low key hate on you and be jealous of you before you even know. And the thing is, they don't see it that way. They just see it as who they are normally. So what you have to do is pay close attention to the jealousy in others. People can turn on you in a hot second. People can be one way one minute and another the next. So you can't be too trusting and you can't be too giving. You can't move too freely, can't let your guard. It's good to, to trust people and to let your guard down some, but you don't want to let it down all the way because when you're, when you're just trying to do you, you have to keep your guard up a little bit because people will see that and try to take advantage of that. And you have people who are manipulators, whether they see it or not. Some people are just naturally gifted at the, the skill of manipulation where they'll try to make you feel bad about yourself for caring about yourself. And they'll call you selfish and all these names and cry boo-hoo and say you don't care about them when all you're trying to do is build your life and get yourself together. And they know that, but the thing is, they don't care about what you're doing for yourself. It's all about them. All right? They're very narcissistic in their character and they want to try to put that on you as a way to manipulate you out the number one spot. 
they don't want you to care about yourself more than you care about them. They'll call you selfish because you're not a second place type of person. You're not going to make yourself second place for the likes of them. Anyone that comes into your life is second place. And they're just going to have to understand that whether whether they like it or not. Nobody that comes into your life should, should take the placehold of number one. They may think that they're subject to that. that they, may, they may think they're worthy of that. They may think they deserve that. They may think they even own your, your, your butt. <laughs> okay. But the thing is, you're not a second place kind of person. This person is going to have to take second place to you. And the thing is, some of the, like these, these narcissistic personality people, they don't even know how to put themselves in first place in the proper way. They put themselves in first place in, in a way of vanity, in a way to where they're domain and and have dominance over somebody else that I don't need to I don't need power over somebody else to be first place in my life I need power in my life and I need to use my power for my life to to be a first place in my life and to put myself first but I don't I don't need control or dominance over someone else that is a, a weak personality that is a weak mindset and that is someone that is trying to absorb the energy and the self-love of somebody else for themselves when they should be resonating and radiating that within themselves. They should be feeling that amount of love within themselves. They should be first place in their own life, but they haven't put themselves there because they don't know how. And they haven't either become aware to that level of knowledge or they just haven't increased their knowledge enough yet. But second place is not your style. And you're not going to be second place for anyone. You're not even going to be second place to a job, to a manager. You may have a title above me, but in my life, I'm still first place. You may be the district manager or whoever, but in my world, I'm still first place. I may have to do have respect for you and respect you. And do what I'm do what my position requires as far as the requirements for me to do this job or possibly even what I'm told to do respectfully, but I'm still not going to put you ahead of me. I'm not going to bow down and roll out the red carpet for you or kiss your feet. I put myself in first place in my life and anybody that doesn't like that is just going to have to hit the road, Jack. And don't you come back no more, no more, no more, no more. Hit the road, Jack. And don't you come back no more. I don't even care if it's if I have to leave. You still hitting the road, Jack, because in my life, you're not going to be there anymore. And it's certain signs that people just shouldn't be in your life. When somebody is trying to take you out of first place in your own life and make their wants, their needs, the things that they are trying to complete first place in your life. It's their, their life and your life are two separate things as far as your personal business and their personal business. People who want you to put aside your personal business to tend to them and their needs and their wants just because they're in your life have a personality disorder and they need to seek professional help. But the thing is, some people think that there's nothing wrong with them. All right. Some people think that everything is right about them and they're not the problem. If, if you were a serious problem and, and, and if what you were doing was a real actual problem, you would work on it. And it's to the point where you've even worked on yourself and then realized you were being manipulated. Because what they want to do is they'll take good, naive, good-hearted, good-spirited, good-minded people who only want the best for themselves, and they'll manipulate you into thinking that you're a bad person because of that, and you need to be pouring that energy into somebody else when it just doesn't work that way. You'll have someone being successful, caring about themselves, low-key under their breath, murmuring all types of stuff, knowing they're controlling you. And actually will see you as a weak person and will, will toss you to the side whenever they feel the need to. They'll fire you and hire someone else whenever they feel the need to. The minute you start to wake up and realize that you're being shorthanded or shortchanged, they'll let you go. Because they probably already have an inkling because of how they treat people 
okay, this person's waking up to my manipulation. They're going to leave. I'm just going to fire them or I'm just going to act in a way to where they won't want to be around me or I'm going to do something to make them leave because this person's of no use to me. This person's no good to me anymore. So second place is not your style. You treat yourself very good. You put yourself first. You put you, it's nothing wrong with that. It's nothing wrong with pouring more time into yourself than others. Others are time thieves, time bandits, uh, energy thieves, energy vampires. They want to feed off of you. All right. They want to feed off of you. If you feel that other people are competing with you, if you feel that other people are, are getting in the way of the things that that they know you have to do because your life depends on it. That's an evil person right there. They may not think so. They may not feel that way about themselves. But truth be told, when you got a good spirit and people are taking advantage of you because you got a good heart and they know that. They can manipulate you into putting them first instead of yourself. You got to cut people off. When people are trying to take the first position in your life, I don't care who it is, anybody. I don't care who it is. Don't let anybody take number one in your life. You don't need, If you got kids, you don't even put your kids before you. Your kids are dependent of you. If you're not happy, nobody's going to be happy. If, if you're not straight, nobody's going to be straight. If you're not together, nobody's going to be together. You have to be the number one concern of your life. Because when you make yourself right, everything else is going to be right. Family, friends, whoever's attached to you. But it has to be enough uh, enough time put into yourself. You got to you got to make yourself first place. You you can't make other people first place and and think you're being holier than thou or God's going to bless you or you're being a Dalai Lama or 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 Jesus Christ by putting other people first like no man Jesus Jesus didn't even trust nobody he knew the hearts of men Jesus didn't trust people he was skeptical of everybody don't allow people to betray you with their manipulation tactics and getting you to put them before you that's the oldest trick in the book and they do that to good people. They do that to people who they see that have a good heart and that care about others. This, this person could be helping you in ways where you can't even help yourself and still draining you of energy and your life force because they're an emotional leech or they're an energy leech or they're a, a psychic vampire where this person is just just playing with you and toying with you until they're ready to discard you. And that's what narcissistic people do. That's why you can't allow somebody to be first place in your life. They will play around with you and toy around with you until there's none left and throw you to the side once you're all frustrated and angry for trying to put others first. So it's no, it's no point in even doing it. Putting other people before yourself is just going to make you mad, make you upset, make you use all your resources make you have nothing, make you not be able to take care of yourself and, and provide for yourself. Put yourself first. You know, people will take advantage of your good nature. All right. It, it takes good people a little while to figure this out because you have a, a big heart and you think it's the good thing to do. You think it's something that God would want you to do. But we have to realize that God doesn't want us to jeopardize our peace, our resources, our energy, our time. All right, it's good to give. The more you give, the more you receive. But it should be to someone, it should be some giving that's not going to cancel out the main recipient, which should be you. It shouldn't be some help, which is going to unhelp the person who needs the most help, you. You got to care about your emotional needs first. You got to care about your uh, physical needs first, you, your mental health needs first, your any need. Any need should not be put to the side for a whole nother person, whole nother able-bodied individual's need. You don't put your needs aside for nobody. Everybody's got a life. Everybody can do something for themselves. And if they can't, there's programs out there for them. Don't let nobody manipulate you. I don't even care if they handicap. Oh, they come rolling in there. Oh, you know, I need, no, I know you need to go talk to the social worker and do something for yourself. People like to manipulate good people, man. If people need help and it's a one-time short thing, you're only helping them for a little bit so they can go help themselves, by all means. 
Don't let people continuously take you for a ride, though. That's all I'm saying. Don't let people take you for a ride. There are some people that actually have a plan and that actually need help and that are actually doing something for themselves, whether people like to admit it or not. If you're doing something and if you're getting somewhere just because you're not where other people w would would like you to be or just because you're not in a place to where you can help yourself yet, doesn't mean you're not doing anything. Work towards getting into a position to where you can help yourself and still do what it is you do on the side, whether you got to slow walk it, snowball it, lay one brick at a time, do it five minutes a day. I don't care. Just don't stop it because you're going to be first place in your life. Second place is not your style. There is more out there for you. There's more life out there to live for you. There are better people out there for you to meet. There's a better world out there for you. Don't let negative, don't let the world just shown by you from negative people put you down. Don't let the world shown to you by negative people, agents of the devil, to put you down. People may not know they're agents of the devil. They may think they're holier than thou. They may be able to quote this and read that and speak this. But the thing is, you have to watch a person's intentions. People will compete with you. People will be sheeps and wolves, uh, uh, wolves and sheep's clothing. People will try to act like they're one thing just so they can get beside you, just so they could get in bed with you, just so they could get next to you, just so they could they can be in your presence. People will try to act like they're something. But in, in all actuality, you could tell by their actions that they're not. And they people are very good liars. People will convince you, know, people will do this right in front of your face. They'll do something evil to you, convince themselves that's not what they did, and lie to you and them. Sometimes people aren't gaslighting you. Sometimes people are just full-blown liars. They like gaslight who, what, when, where. They just liars. So you don't put yourself in second place. People will make you feel that they should be able to take that place because they're doing things for you. They're in your life. They're giving you their time. They're giving you their energy. They're giving you their love. Doesn't mean you deserve to be in first place in my life. Don't let people manipulate you. Oh, well, I'm doing this and I'm doing that and I'm doing everything. You, you could always go back to doing it by yourself. Make sure they know that. You have to put people in check. People need to realize where they stand in your life. I don't care if they're providing you everything. People need to know where they stand in your life. I don't care if they're helping you out with everything. You can go get a job. You can work for yourself. You can be by yourself. You can go do for yourself. I don't care if you got to go stay uh, it, it, wherever you got to stay, all right? But whatever you have to do, don't give people power over you and put them in a position to where they're number one and going to use you and manipulate you because you're in a situation or you're in a time of need or you need a job or you need something. You don't need anybody that bad. But the thing is, what we have to do is we have to keep it real with ourselves and we have to not be afraid to tell people no. We have to not be afraid to be on our own, and we have to not be afraid to face the unknown. And these aren't easy things for for some for some. But the thing is, we really have to get closer to God. Um, if you feel yourself feeling like this, it's time to pray into this and pray away this. It's time to pray for this, so that way you could be someone who could be self reliant. You can rely on God, rely on the Lord, and put your trust in Him. Sometimes, you know, the devil will send people into your life that can offer you everything on a silver platter and they'll even and he'll even sprinkle some God on top of it. He'll even sprinkle some truth on top of it. He'll even sprinkle some fair seeming images, imagery, you know, some witchcraft, make it look a certain way. Oh, that looks really good. This, this really looks like it's from God. But it may not be that. And then you'll have people point the finger at you and say something similar, but you don't have any hidden agendas. You don't have any motives. You're straight up front. People may have manipulated you into some things that, you know, you may not have been ready for or wanted, wanted to be involved in. They may have asked you to work on the weekends, maybe you know, they might have pressured you into doing it, but you had something you have to do. Tell them no. I don't even care if you said yes. Go back and tell them no. 
people know what kind of person you are. They can see that. Why do you think they came to you and asked you? Let's ask him. He'll, he, uh, they know uh, he. It, it, we, we can pressure him. All you got to do is look at him a certain way and he'll do it. All you got to do is look at her a certain way and she'll do it. That's a personal thing. That's something that you have to fix within yourself. That's something you got to pray about. You got to ask God for strength in whatever area you need it in. Because you are not second place. It's time to boss up. It's time to it's time to live your life. It's time to put that fear to the side. It's time to keep it real with you. Whatever issues you have, whatever trouble you're dealing with, keep it real with yourself. Accept it and then move forward and work on it. Okay, I'm not that strong in this area. This is something that I have to work on. I have to be able to set better boundaries because if you don't, people will walk all over you and, and take advantage of you. And I know setting boundaries isn't an easy thing. There are some of us out there that when we grew up, our boundaries were destroyed. We dealt with enmeshment. You know, um, some of our the people who brought us up may have thought they would have been giving us too much authority in our own lives maybe they were just trying to do the best they could do or maybe they were just being controlling and had some inner conflict and some inner issues that they didn't uh deal with totally but that's neither here nor there they may be at fault for that but right now it's your issue that you have to deal with so you have to take accountability of where you're at with it you had to ho have to hold yourself accountable for where you're at with it and you have to continue to take note on your personal growth so that way you can change and make your life better because whatever you're dealing with that you don't want to, it doesn't have to continue to be a problem. It doesn't have to be something that is concurrent in your life. It's something that you can pray away. It's something that you can, that it's not something that has come to stay. It has come to pass. And we truly and honestly have to believe that and we have to keep working on our mind until what we want is going to come into fruition. And it is. And you will manifest all your desires. You just need to be in the right environment, be around the right people, be away from energy vampires, people that are, are going to eradicate your resources, people that are going to eat up all your time, and people that are going to steal your energy. So that way there's none left for you to put into yourself. But you also have to keep yourself out of certain situations that are tempting. It may be tempting for you to want to hang out with certain people. It may be tempting for you to want to go out. It may be tempting for you to want to put this down and go hang out with so-and-so or be around so-and-so or go chill out with whoever. That time and energy is for you. Second place is not your style. I don't care if it's your friends and they all go out every weekend. Don't put that group of friends first in your life. Don't put anything or anyone first in your life. Your priorities come first before everything and everyone because people will act like they didn't have anything to do with it, will act like they don't know what you're talking about. Some To some people, taking advantage and manipulation is just how they roll. It's a pastime. It, they'll look at it as, well, you should have never got with me. They'll look at it as, oh, well, you should have stayed where you were at. People will, people will lie. People will tell half-truths. People will not be honest. People will say one thing just to get you do something, to, to do something. Then when you do it and they get around you and you're not what they want, then they'll backtrack their statements. Oh, well, he's not going to do what I want anyway, so screw him. Oh, well, she's not going to do what I want anyway, so forget her. People will do that. People will try to get over on you, and then when things go sour, they're going to try to make it your fault. When you notice people are trying to get over on you, you, you have to speak up. You got to be upfront. You got to be honest. You can't be quiet about it. You can't wait and put it to the side. You have to, um, you have to make moves and make decisions immediately. As soon as you see something is not what it's supposed to be, exit. As soon as you, I don't, I don't care what is offered. I don't care what is there. I don't care how good somebody looks or how they appear or how loving they may seem of you or God or what type of good person they may be. As soon as you, I don't care if this person is the Queen Virgin Mother Mary. If she said Jesus is coming at 3 o'clock and it's 3.05 and Jesus ain't show up that day, you don't deal with them no more. I don't even care if Jesus came at 4 o'clock. You, you might want to double it back. You, you may want to you may want to take a, a, a few days off. But if somebody says something and they don't do it or someone says something and it doesn't happen, don't stay around. 
That's that's somebody that's manipulative. That's that's somebody that is pump faking, future faking. That's what that's some some love bombing, future faking type stuff. All right, that is what karmics do. They try to rush you into something, get you to do it real fast because if they know somebody will think about it and take the time, they probably wouldn't do it. So you don't want you try not to be that, that as impulsive. Ask God to help you with your decision making. Ask God to instruct you the which way to go. Pray before you do things. And sometimes life just happens. It's meant for you to figure it out. It's meant for you to grow. It's meant for you to become better. Some negative situations we may find ourselves in are actually blessings in disguise. They try to, you know, as the saying goes, they did it to you for bad. God did it to you for good. And that's really how you have to keep developing your mind. So stay one up on manipulation. All right, stay one up on having a positive mindset. Stay one up on people that are trying to get you to stop doing what you do. You shouldn't have to stop doing what you do for anyone or anything. If someone's trying to make you take second place in your own life, bam, bam, manipulator. Get away from those people. Get away from that person. What they're going to do is they're going to say that you don't like them. You don't want to be around them. You don't want to spend time with them. They're not important to you. They're really going to try to get in your head. And once they can separate your purpose from you and how important it is to you and how much you care about it, then it's really going to get ugly, but not for you. I mean, for not for them, for you. And they're just going to sit back and watch your life fall apart. And they're just going to watch you pour all that energy into them. They don't care if your life falls apart. They don't care what happens to you. They don't care uh, how your future is going to unfold. All they care about is what they can get from you, the energy they can steal from you, the time they can eat away from your life, and how many times they, they can get you to fail by by causing you to, 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 to go back on what you told yourself you were going to do for the day. They call you selfish, but in all reality, this is the most selfish person, somebody that doesn't love themselves, that is feeding on the energy and self-love of others, all right? So you have to be careful. A lot of this, it might be unintentional. It might be, they might be unaware that they're this kind of person. You know, maybe God will put it on their heart to change. Maybe God will bring them to the awareness of what they're doing, but it's not good. Don't, you don't lie to people. You don't manipulate people. You don't try to get people to stop what they're doing to please you. That That is the utmost evil imaginable. Trying to get someone to put aside their God-given purpose and you claim to love God. You claim to want to see someone's success, but then you're in their face and telling them you think they that you don't want that for them and they're crazy. That's manipulative. People will say one thing and lie and get you to think that you're seeing things. Ultimate gaslighting. They'll do something to your face and, and make it seem like that that's not what's happening. But you have to be strong in what you know and what you see. They can only gaslight you for as long as you stay around. As, as soon as you smell manipulation, you get, you get out of there. You get out of there. Don't stick around. I don't care if, if, if you're having fun. I don't care if the person is attractive. I don't care if the job's paying you good. I don't care if the place to live is so convenient. God's always got someone, something, some place, some job. It's always something out there better for you. So get away from the manipulation. If you find yourself first place and then you're in a situation to where someone is trying to make you second place, tell that person to, to, to take that stuff back to Chiselhurst. Tell that person... Uh, it's not 515 and right on time. That person is off. That person needs to go. That person has no real love for you. They act like they do because they, that person is love bombing you. It's, they probably told you you was the best in person that ever worked for them, got you doing everybody's job. This person probably told you they love you within the first week of meeting you. Crazy. All right. You have to, people that will have so much affection and, and, care and all that that fast it can go away just as quick all right especially if this person is you see this person saying one thing and then saying something else or their words aren't matching their actions soon as you see somebody's words not match their actions you have to cut them off 
It's just it is the it is what it is. You might be able to give them one or two chances if you see they got a good heart or a good spirit. But if you see this person is manipulate manipulative, you see this person is gaslighting, and you're like, oh, say it isn't so. Maybe it is like people will have you thinking it's you when it's truly, honestly, them. And what they'll do is you'll be thinking it. They'll see you seeing it and they'll call you out and say it's you. It's, it's and that, that person's got a childlike mindset. It's like somebody passing. Get, <clears throat> you smell it and they're like, yo, you farted. <laughs> that's the best way to like they got a childlike mindset. That's what they do. And that's the best way to explain it. I'd like to thank you for watching this video. I'm sorry we got to end on a gassy note, but this is, the, yo, the, see how they do it? Gaslighting. I'd like to thank you for watching this video. Smash the like button. Smash the share button. Don't forget to subscribe. Shout out to the Galactic Family, the GCVs, and of course, Drew Nation. And I will see you in the next video. Peace, love, self-love, and light. We out.